Ukraine strikes with these small mobile groups. This minimizes the losses. If the strike is unsuccessful, they will lose two to three squads max, which hasn't happened much. If the strike is successful, a small mobile force takes a Russian position, which is maximizing the gains. And usually this two to three ACPs, and if you add a tank there, it's enough. Some of the Russian soldiers abandon their positions, and if those who don't abandon their positions, it's enough to overrun them. Russian trench lines are not very heavily manned because the front line is so large, and as I said, Ukraine is striking on several different accesses, making sure Russians cannot gather enough reserves into one single defensive position. And if they do that, Ukraine will strike anywhere else with their main force.